Okay, Sagittarius. Temperance is your card. This is the card for Sagittarius, and it surrounds the entire reading. Sagittarius also could be strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. But your guardian angels and spirit guides, they're doing their job. They're trying to help you be tempered. Okay, that's why it's called temperance. They would like you to be grounded. They want you to be balanced. And they want you to use your patience for whatever reason it is. I just got started. So, um... Very, very uh, spiritual card and surround your entire reading. And we need to know what they're preparing you for. I have the sun in your highest energy. This is a fresh start, new beginning with lots of love and lots of joy. Beautiful, beautiful card. You know, I think this is what you want and you're hoping for. And I think they're just saying, be patient. It's coming in. Be patient. Stay Get balanced. Get ready. It's coming in. They're trying to make it happen for you. I have the Ten of Wands next to the sun and right above temperance. Yeah, you've been carrying around a big burden. Big. But look, those wands are slipping out. This is the ten. There's no eleven. And the wands, you're gonna you're dropping your burden, is what you're doing. You can either drop these wands. All at once or little by little. But temperance is saying be patient. Let the burden go. Just let the burdens go. Because there are beautiful things waiting for you. You have an energy that you're letting go. Someone. A person. Uh, that's been around you. Okay. The five of swords. And you've learned a lot of truth and clarity about this person. And yourself probably. And see in the background. You're letting them fade off into the distance. This is helping you drop that burden. I have the Page of Cups under the sun and next to Temperance. The Page of Cups, this is why. Because all you were getting was a half a cup of love. That cup has a fish in it. I'm going to show you. It's poking a fish is poking its head out. This can be a card for Pisces because of the fish. Might be strong in someone's chart. Very immature energy, the Page of Cups. Uh, that's all they had to offer. And you're letting them go. That's all they had, you know. And they weren't even really handing that out by looking at this. So Temperance is saying, just, just hang in there. Just hang in there. Everything is going to work out beautifully. I have the Nine of Swords. So this is, this is probably what attracted Temperance into your life. Your Guardian Angel is really going to work for you. And under the Five of Swords... The Nine of Swords. So you were really in it. I mean, your your mind, it's like every waking moment, uh, you, you know, could not shake uh, what was going on in your love life uh, because they weren't offering that cup of love that would have made everything right. But you're, you, you had questions. Um, these are swords of truth and clarity. They come to you. You got. You feel like you got yourself into something that you're get, having to get yourself out of. How did you let this happen? But uh, temperance is here to help you get through all this. So have faith in your guardian angels and spirit guides. They're all around you. They're, and they're protecting you. And they're helping you move forward. I have the High Priestess under the Page of Cups. The High Priestess now, uh, this is the card for uh, in, intuition and knowing. And look, the moon. So you're, if you're being enlightened, okay, which you are being enlightened with Swords of Truth and Clarity, um, the moon is like shining a path in the darkness for you to move forward. And this card is saying, follow your intuition. Follow your instincts, okay? Let your gut, I mean, listen to yourself. Trust your instincts. And this is really going to help you move forward uh, and be able to drop those wands. The high priestess now is right next to the star. Now, the star is the card for Aquarius. So Aquarius might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But... This is like seeing your, this is a very deep healing card. So you, they're helping you get through a healing process, uh, temperance is. And um, 
It's like seeing your own reflection in that pool of water. Look at the moon again behind this person. Very, very spiritual. And by seeing your own reflection in that pool of water, uh, you're, you're finding your path forward. And you're remembering what you want, what you don't want in life, what you need, what you don't need in life. And, and you know, amongst anything else, it's very spiritual. You're just coming back to being you. You're remembering you here. I have the hangman next to the star and under the nine of swords. So the hangman is just like, you know, taking time to yourself, uh, hanging out and being enlightened under that nine of swords and next to the star. So you are going to take time out to heal. And this is what's going to help you be able to drop those wands and let this fresh start, this new beginning, which is in your highest energy with lots of love and lots of joy. It's going to allow that sun to come in. So the hangman, very spiritual. You have so many spiritual cards in this reading, Sagittarius. Let's take out the second part. What else is it we need to know? Look at that, another guardian angel. Oh my gosh. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Just, you know, it, there's so much uh, spiritual uh, energy in, in this reading for you um, that you really must know that things are working out. Um, have faith. Trust and believe in yourself and trust and believe in the, the help that's all around you. I have the Nine of Cups next to the Five of Swords. You have all this love. Oh my gosh. And nowhere to, to hand it out. But you do have it. So you, you're prepared. I mean, you do have it when you need it. Okay? So you have all this love. You kept it. Whoever this is, you're letting fade off into the distance. Um, they did not take your cups of love. You still have them. I have the Eight of Swords next to the Nine of Cups. It, it's almost like you were living in the dark, you know, um, with this other relationship. You had Swords of Truth and Clarity all the way around you, but you had a blindfold on. So you didn't really see them or you were ignoring them. This is really a card of illusion because... You know, if you were to take the blindfold off, you could absolutely see the truth. This is almost like ignoring the truth and letting things slide that you probably shouldn't have let slide uh, in order to, you know, have this relationship that ended up not working out anyway, because they only had a half a cup of love. Where's that going to go? So I have the judgment card right next to the Eight of Swords. This was all a part of your spiritual lesson. This is your guardian angels and spirit guides once again, blowing the horn down on you and you are awakening to a spiritual lesson. They're very, very di difficult to get through, but you're doing it. You are awakening. You're coming out of this eight of swords energy. That is part of your lesson is um, not going through life with a blindfold on and really looking for truth and clarity uh, as you move forward. I have the Queen of Cups here under the Nine of Cups and right next to the Nine of Swords. So the Queen of Cups um, is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in your chart or in someone else's chart around this reading. But the energy is love. You're, you're trying to figure out love. It's right next to the Nine of Swords. So you're like, you know, where was the love? Why didn't you see they didn't love you? Or, you know, uh, it's, it's like, you know, did I really even love them? Whatever questions you might have, that cup is full of answers. It's a beautiful card. And um, the Queen of Cups, they're all male or female. Um, very mature thinking. I have the Seven of Pentacles next to the Queen of Cups and under the Eight of Swords. So yeah, you waited in the Eight of Swords energy, just kind of letting the red flags go, not dealing with them. And you waited and waited for this relationship that you're letting go to come to fruition. It's like, see this bush here, it's, it's like it, it blossomed, but it never bore fruit. And you're still standing there waiting waiting to pick fruit from that bush. 
And it can be a very long time, and I feel like it was a very, very long time. Too long. No matter what amount of time it was, it was too long. And then next to the Seven of Pentacles is this Ten of Cups. That's what you were trying to, that's what you were waiting for. And it's um, Ten of Cups is under your judgment card. Now, when you learn a spiritual lesson, you are usually rewarded with, with a gift from your guardian angels and spirit guides. I think your gift here is here. This is the Ten of Cups. This is what you were waiting for. But I think they're like, okay, now that you learned your spiritual lesson, we'll help bring it in. This is Ten Cups of Love. Sunshine and rainbows, an equal exchange of love. Union between two people. There could be a child involved. Uh, it's just a family-oriented type card. Um, very loving. Very, very loving. I have the Magician here. Under the Queen of Cups and next to the Hanged Man. So the Magician, um, look at the Infinity Symbol, the symbol of intuition and knowing. You have all the tools it takes to make a relationship work. This is under the Queen of Cups. So if you're wondering if it was you, it wasn't. You had everything. It was them, you know. Sometimes it's both. But uh, in this case, for sure it was them because you, you're the Magician. Um, if you had followed your intuition... And um, about this relationship, you could have come out of it sooner than uh, the time that it took to come out of this relationship. But you do, you still have all the tools, okay, to make a relationship work. You also have the capability of manifesting. So um, what you're doing, you know, through this spiritual lesson, you're coming to this point where you can manifest what it is that you want to come into your life. And that is the sun, the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I have the King of Swords right next to the Magician and under the Seven of Pentacles. You're going to be on the lookout for those relationships that go nowhere. Um, very mature thinking now. You've learned a lot of lessons. Look, you're holding the sword. You're in self-protection. And you're going to stand by your convictions. You're going to stand by what it is that you want from life. You're the magician. You, you can manifest what it is that you want. And you're not going to settle anymore. You're not going to ignore red flags anymore. And then I have the hermit right next to the king of swords and under the ten of cups. You've been seeking your path forward. You know, you've been going through a lot of healing. This is very spiritual, that star. So uh, the Hermit is a card for Virgo. Virgo might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But with the Hermit here, this is seeking your path forward in the dark. They're shining the lantern. They're, they're, they're showing you a way, okay? And so I look around the Hermit, spending time to yourself, which we already know you've been doing with the Hangman here. And um, so the Hermit is saying, hey, you're on the path to the Ten of Cups. Just keep your sword up, and the Ten of Cups will come along. You've learned your spiritual lesson. This is a reward. Um, the Ten of Cups is on your path now. 